I think a lot. And, and with those thoughts, some are good, some are bad. And with age, I, I learn to accept the bad ones, ignore them as needed, adjust, and turn, in, turn them into something that fuels further thought. I'm stuck on the state of our country. And I'm not worried, like someone who <sighs> worries about something failing, I'm disappointed. I feel as though we're so caught up in the politics of today that we are forgetting our culture. And I, I'm trying to define American culture. And to me, it goes beyond cowboys and New Yorkers, L.A. folk and uh, Plains people, Midwesterns. It's... We're a culture of leaders. We're men who stand up for what's right and stop wrong from happening when we see it. We're women who are straight shooters, classy, ladies. Someone who will, who will kiss you on the cheek and kick you in the nuts. But ultimately we're leaders. We're people who are representative of those who should take the reins. Those who will do things that others won't or are scared to do. We're people who are rebellious in nature. We're people who do not need to act with governance. We know how to take care of ourselves. We're people who operate not to put our neighbor or friends down, but rather to support them. And that kind of support can even mean to rival them. To compete. We're competitors. But I feel as though that sense of competition has been wrapped up with monetary gain for too long. And not with being a better person as a whole. It seems that nowadays there's too much value assigned behind the dollar, behind monetary wealth, not in wealth of character or thought quality. It's how much and how much more. As individuals, we should know how to sustain ourselves. We should be the ones not to be afraid to cross our own border into another country. We should be the one pushing for that. Because if we are going to be world leaders, we need to be worldly. We need to venture out into this world, learn from others, talk to others, and not put down others for our ethnocentric ideas of what culture and life should be. Not every culture needs to be American culture, but 
as Americans, we do need to represent our culture, and our culture is one of leaders and individuals. People who take care of themselves very well, and people who can take care of others just as well. We are a firm handshake. We are somebody who comes along to pick up somebody else. We've proven that so many times. And we need to prove it again. We need to gather ourselves and put aside our differences in belief because ultimately what the fuck are we even talking about the most control we have is in our moments what's happening right now right in front of us what's happened has happened it's over and done with and guess what as time goes on that gets further and further into distance but taking care of now sets up later. We need to get back to what made us individuals and leaders. What made us Americans. And it's an open-ended question. It's not a it's not meant to be answer with a simple phrase it's meant to be a discussion and I, I think that we should be allowed to discuss we should be discussing and you know what too I think we should learn how to discuss without having to fear the answer shaking up our entire world, our entire foundation of what we thought was true. We need to figure this out. We need to figure this out. And we can. And if we believe it, we will. America won't last forever, but our ideas, our culture should. Even if our country does not. Even if our country breaks into a thousand tiny pieces that culture needs to be preserved. Individuals and leaders. Rivals and friends. Friends who are rivals. Helpful neighbors. People who talk. People who discuss. A people who don't need to be governed. A people who can take care of themselves. That's about it.